Hi guys, my name's Chris. Welcome back to the Rev Tactical Gear Channel, where I review gear that is totally far too expensive for what I use it for. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at the Ranger Trouser from Arctis. I did a video about a previous version of these a little while back. I'll put a link to that just here so you can see me talking about all the actual uh, how they stitch it together and all the materials and all the good stuff. Today we're just going to be talking about the updated version of these, what they've changed. Um, and, uh, just a very quick run through the features. So, the main problem with the earlier version was the knee pad pockets. It didn't take cry knee pads. That's been fixed now, so that's the news. I'll put a link down in the description, obviously, to where you can buy these, uh, buy the version that takes the cry pads. So we'll start from the top, work down. Nice large belt loops. Velcro at the top of the fly. Nice, good quality, chunky zip on the fly itself. Usual standard pockets, got a lot of room in those to go a long way down there. Now this particular um, iteration of the trouser is slightly different to what they're offering now because basically the, this version I have here is sort of a one-off because I, I had the old version, I sent it over to Arctis and then they, um, they changed a bit, sent it back, I was like no change this, change that, sent it back, did, uh, did that about three times in total until we have what we have here. And then on their commercial version, they've changed it even more. So on the commercial version, these front pockets are a little bit different, but you'll have, you'll have pockets in this region just above the knee. Then you've got your you stretch elastic material around the knee pad pocket. You've got your knee pad pockets. Like I say, they'll take the cry pads. On the version Arctis now offers, they'll take the cries and the D3O uh, pads, which um, which uses sort of a pass through like four buttons on each corner, so you've got the option with that. You've got a drainage mesh at the bottom of the knee pad pocket so water, water can escape from there. And then you've got your ankle cuff down there. Again, another difference with the version they sell at the moment, there is a, there's a lower leg pocket, um, which these don't have. But you'll see on the website, and when you look at the pictures, you'll see exactly what you're getting. Moving around to the back, you've got a Nice bit of padding in the waistline. Again, more large belt loops. Stretch panel here, just like your cries. The versions that I've to sell now, they have these sort of strange open back pockets, which are a little bit odd, whereas the one I've got has lids on the, on the back pockets. I'm not sure why they did that, but I'm sure, I'm sure they've got some reason. Stretch panel in the crotch, obviously, in the groin area. You've got your main large cargo pockets. Plenty of pleating on those so they can expand right out when you've got stuff in them to sit nice and flat when they're empty. Mid sort of mid leg upper calf uh, velcro adjustment to tighten on the knee pads to your actual knees if you want it. And then I've uh, already covered the uh, ankle cuffs. So yeah, that is the that is the updated or this is sort of halfway updated version of, of the uh, range of trousers that Arctis now offer. Like I say, if you go on their site now, if you pick up a pair, they will take cry pads and D3O knee pads. Absolutely top, top quality British construction. Um, Arctis, as far as I know, is the only large gear manufacturer in the UK. Uh, there's a few other little ones, but Arctis is the only one I know that's um, of a substantial size that makes kit for the military and police. So check them out, guys. Like I said, the links in the description, they do. DPM, solid colours, they've got a few other random European cameras that you'll never see cry making or certainly not offering commercially. So if you want some of those, if you want a good modern combat type uh, trouser in, in some of those patterns then Arctis is definitely where to go, they're not cheap. I'm not sure what they're exactly selling for now because the, the, uh, the website that their price is on, you have to email them and they'll, they'll send you a, a price list and, and you go through the ordering process that way but like I say if you interested in these um, they cost about the same as cry g3s do in the uk similar sort of price range and uh, it, i think quality wise they're better to be honest um, so yeah check out the, check out the pictures and see what you think give them an email if you're interested i'd highly recommend it uh, in terms of the, the actual the quality and construction so cheers for watching guys as usual if you want to see more gear reviews like this, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, consider leaving a like. Much appreciated. Uh, social media links down in the description below. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.